you suddenly may fail at any point of your life and sure suddenly you remember that your friend already took your OS DVD last week and haven't returned it. So if you don't have a DVD or USB drive then instead of quitting you may use your LAN connection to install your OS. Also really handy when you need to install OS in multiple system like this library. So let's find out how to do it. To install Windows or any OS by LAN, we need to use PXE Boot. Server 64 is a server tool which helps you to create SDP, FTP, TFTP, TSCP, DNS, it's pretty much cover all the server you need. For PXE Network Boot, we need to create TFTP server. So to test this post, go with the Server 64 free community edition. Extract the application to somewhere and run it. Now open server setting from server icon in Windows tray. Go to the TFTP tab, check TFTP server, set a root directory for server in which it will keep all its files including your operating systems. Now bind the server IP address to your local IP. If you use direct connection to another PC by Ethernet, then you might need to power on the broken system and wait in the boot menu so that at least you can find its IP address. Now go to the DHCP tab. If you have a DHCP server already running in your network, then check DHCP proxy. Turn on BINN add-on and bind DHCP to your IP. Again, if you are using direct connection from another PC by Ethernet cable, you need to check DHCP server options, IP pool address and pool size. Now press OK. Now server will ask you to restart the application. Close the app and go to the server root directory you created. Create a folder name WIA underscore WDS if you are trying to install Windows 7, 8 or 10. So Windows XP and Server Edition create WIA underscore RIS. For Linux based OS and WA underscore BXE. Now for Windows 10 create a folder name as W10 underscore X64. Please notice the folder name format. Now copy the windows installation disk or IOC content to that folder. Now go back and show the folder WIA underscore WDS. Go to folder properties, then sharing tab. Click on advanced sharing option, check the share option, change the name WIA underscore WDS underscore share. Check the permission as your choice. For now, I am leaving it for everyone. Now apply and save. Next thing is to start server again. Now you will see server will create some additional files for boot. Wait until it shows maintenance end. Now it's time to boot your system. Go to booting option and select network PXE boot. With a while to load, you can see the connection status on server log. Now choose the OS you want to install. Unless you set public sharing from your Windows PC, you need to provide your username and password of your Windows. Now press OK and it will take you to the Windows setup. I guess after this you don't need any DVD or USB drive. If you don't like this video then click dislike. Or if this video helps you then like and subscribe us for future updates.